Carly Hartman. It's so good to see you again. Happy summer. I just want to say that I've missed you so much, which is why I had to pull my camera back out so I could say hello. I must apologize for my little bear back there. It's actually not very little. It's a life-size bear that my beautiful friend Nina, who was already in a video of mine, gave me for a going away present last year. So anyways, his name is Bear Me and he's very cute. There's a few fun announcements that are happening in this sizzling summer, like, you know, few months. That's so weird. I don't know what I just said. Number one, last week, my book, 101 Girl Tips, just came out, you guys. Like, how exciting. My co-author, Lisa Tiano, and I have been writing this since last February. It's been in the process of 2016, been in the process and everything, and now it's finally out, released. You can buy it today on Amazon. It's so exciting, so I'm gonna link that down below. I'm really excited because it's really to spread our message of, you know, empowering young girls to be world changers now in book form. So now whenever I go out to speak places, I'll be able to pass out this beautiful book to beautiful girls everywhere. So if you want to learn more about that, definitely go check it out in the description below. Also, I'm really excited because Pageant 360 2017 is right around the corner. Pageant 360 is happening this year, July 26th through the 29th. So our Go Impact conference is July 26th to the 28th. And then our actual pageant day is July 29th. And so girls ages 13 to 17 can be in our pageant on July 29th, but girls of all ages, including your moms, sisters, nieces, girl cousins, whatever, can come to our Go Impact Conference July 26th to the 28th. So if you want to learn more about Pageant 360, the program that I started back in 2014 to empower young girls to be world changers, go check it out at pageant360.com. Yay! Also linking that down below. So my video topic for the day, I believe that through these videos you're able to be inspired and encouraged. My dream is that every time you watch one of my videos, your day is just, you know, more better. It's just better afterwards. A little extra confidence boost. Can someone preach that right now? Today's video is called Oh yeah, everything you touch prospers. So, many of you guys know that my father is Butch Hartman. His cartoon, Fairly Odd Parents, one of my, my favorite episodes is like when the mom has a garden, she like tries to plant everything and then whenever she touches it, like it dies. Like everything she touches dies. She always goes, everything I touch dies. So I always like remember that and I, probably watched that last time when I was like 10 years old, but it's always stuck with me because she always said everything I touch dies. And it literally did because everything in the garden died when she touched it, which is really funny because I'm also not a gardener and I do not have a green thumb or anything. So I'm like not really good with plants, but I definitely love plants and flowers and just pretty things and unicorns and my sister and I just got a new desk and it's so Pinteresty and so cute. Now that it's this brand new desk, we always need to have flowers on the desk in my opinion. I came home and I went right to the store to get my favorite flowers. My new favorite flowers are peonies and they're my favorite, you guys, they're so beautiful. Yesterday I went to the store and I got a bouquet of peonies, but they always come like clothes, like a little ball. And so I was like, oh, okay, well I kill flowers usually anyways, like just automatically thinking that and I was like so, so I'll just get them anyways like they're not gonna bloom whatever I just want them because they're pretty and they're good for pictures I received them I literally picked them up out of the bin of flowers and I walk over to the cash register by this point they are still in a circle form okay they're not even like bloomed yet so I buy them and I literally walk out to my car, not even two minutes go by. And they already bloom a little bit. Like literally they're like this and then they go like this. And I was like, what? In not even two minutes, they like bloomed. And like that was enough bloomage for me. Like I thought that would be totally fine. So then I drive home, not even 10 minutes goes by. I get out of the car. I take my flowers up to my room and I put them on my table. And by that point, they were like this. Then they're like this, and I was like, what? Not even has it been 20 minutes since I picked them up from the store. All night when I was working by them, every hour they're like, like just blowing up with beauty like all over my desk. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? But just like the matter of time it took for them to bloom was like, literally 0.5 seconds, it was insane. So look how big these are, they're like taking up my entire screen, but they're so beautiful. These are really, really cute and they're absolutely stunning. I just love them. The point of my story is that everything you touch 
prospers. And the reason why I say that is because sometimes in life, like Timmy's mom in Fairly Odd Parents, she was like, everything I touch dies. And she kept saying that and it kept happening. Now, obviously, like I said, it's a cartoon, so that makes sense why it would happen. But she, if this was a real life person, people do this all the time. I've done it my like whole life. I've always done this where like we have such limited thinking or we're so used to thinking a certain way that we always think that way. You really have to realize that you are thinking that way and then stop it before it continues on as you get older. And so I would just think like, oh my gosh, every flower I touch dies because I literally am not really good at like, you know, floral keeping. But when I saw these peonies like growing and growing and growing in like literally like 30 minutes, I was like, you know what? I was totally believing a lie. The fact that I kept like confessing that and believing that in my heart, I thought that I would kill every t plant that I touched, but last night I was totally proven wrong. So what I want to tell you guys today is that everything you touch prospers. It doesn't just mean with plants or flowers or succulents, but with everything in life. I love training up world changers and I believe that if you are watching this today, and especially if you made it this far because man, I just keep talking, you are a world changer and you're not here by mistake. You're not here on accident. You are here on purpose. There's no, there's none other of you that will ever exist in the span of time, which is so exciting because God has placed you here for a reason and a purpose. And there is absolutely no doubt that you are going to change the world. It's just up to you to do it. And so I'm telling you that everything you touch prospers today because I want you to know that no matter what you set your mind to, whatever you set your hand to in life, whatever career you decide to take, whatever decision you decide to make to change the world in an amazing positive way, it will happen if you believe it. If you think that you are a loser, that you have failed at everything in your life, that it's never gonna work out, that's exactly what's gonna happen. But if you can start to believe now that you know what? Everything I touch prospers. Whatever you speak life over will prosper. Whatever you put your hand to will prosper just because of the blessing over your life. And that's what's so amazing about the Lord is that when you are walking in Him, it's like, hey, you can do anything that you put your mind to, child, is what God says to you. He's like, I want you to change the world. I want you to do amazing things for me. And when we're living in Him, we're able to do that, you guys. And we can change our perspective to knowing that, you know what? I might have thought that everything I touch dies, but now I'm gonna believe that everything I touch prospers and comes to life. So that way, if you want to build a church, if you want to build a business, if you want to build an organization, a nonprofit, you wanna be a teacher, you want to work at a bakery, whatever you decide to put your mind to, it will prosper because with Christ, you can do all things. And when you're in Christ, you have no other choice but to prosper. The only thing that's holding you back from prospering is yourself. And so I wanted to encourage you with that today that everything you touch prospers. I love you so much. Have an amazing rest of your day. I really hope that it's filled with beautiful things like these peonies because I just want to hug them all day because they're so pretty, you guys. I want you to know that whatever you put your hand to, whatever flower you put your hand to will prosper, okay? So I'm always here for you. You're so amazing. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, week, and you're going to change the world whether you like it or not. So I will catch you later. Have a beautiful day. I love you so much. Bye.